All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's vlog. Here to give you my key matches and predictions for the 2015 college football season. And I'm here to start off with Thursday night's matchup between Louisiana Tech at Western Kentucky. Now, the Hilltoppers have a feature quarterback and reigning MVP of the Conference USA, Brandon Drotti, who had 49 um, touchdown passes and just 10 picks last season. Now, Louisiana Tech, they did make it to the Conference USA Championship in a close loss against Marshall, and they have a feature player in running back Kenneth Dixon, who had 1,000 yards last season, and he has over 50 total touchdowns in his career, entering his senior season. Now, for the Louisiana Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, they do have a new quarterback in Jeff Driscoll out of, of Florida. He was a transfer coming for the Florida Gators, and I think he had a great week last week against Southern. 274 yards passing and four touchdowns, zero picks in that matchup. But they're going to be playing against a tough team in this conference, USA Conference. A high explosive offensive conference, pretty underrated. They do have some good offenses coming out of Conference USA. Now, for this matchup, I'm actually going to go with the Bulldogs in this one. I think their defense is going to do just good enough they're just gonna have to keep containment and as far as the secondary needs to step it up this season this week against Brandon Drachi and that passing offense for the Hilltoppers and I think with a good balance offense that the Bulldogs have I think they're gonna do just good enough to pull off a W in the first conference USA game Next up, Utah State staying in state to play number 24, Utah. Now, I must say that Michigan had a lot of miscues in that matchup last week against the Utes. And this is going to be an interesting matchup. Now, this is going to be one of my upset picks this week. I'm going to have to go with the Aggies over Utah, despite the fact that Southern Utah gave the um, Aggies a, a run for their money last week. It was all due to the great efforts of Andrew Rodriguez in that second half and that punt return to help cap catapult the Aggies over Southern Utah 12 to 9. But I think Chucky Keaton and company is going to do get things well together offensively and Nick Vigil is going to have to do have a great matchup against that Utes offense. Vigil actually has 13 tackles off to start off the season against Southern Utah. Next up, Michigan hosting their first home game of the season against Oregon State and coach Jim Harbaugh is looking for that first win. Now last week they suffered their first um the first he opened up his career uh, with a loss uh, against on um, Utah but I think that Michigan is going to come off with a victory over Oregon State. Next up, Maryland's going to be hosting Bowling Green. Now, the Falcons definitely pulled up 30 points last week against um, Tennessee, but the rushing attack of the Volunteers was way too much for the Falcons, in which they got killed 59-30 to uh, in that matchup. And then this week, Maryland's actually um, has a pretty good rushing attack thus far this season in their game against Richmond, in which they had 341 yards on the ground against the Spiders. And they're looking to do the same at home again against the uh, Falcons in this matchup. This is going to be an interesting game, and I do have to get cool to their um, defensive back and, and first team all Big Ten honors, William Likely, who broke the Big Ten record last week with 232 three yards return and punt return yardage. I think that Maryland's going to pull off with the victory in this one due to their rushing attack this week. Next up, number, number nine, Notre Dame is going to be traveling to UVA to face the Cavaliers. I'm going to have to go with Notre Dame in this one. They crushed my Longhorns last week, and they're looking to stay undefeated and possibly make it to the college football playoff come towards the end of the season. Next up, an upset alert between Toledo at number 18, Arkansas. This should be a, 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 a sense pick for me, but the reason why this could be an upset alert is because Toledo actually has a pretty good offense, and I think with a healthy quarterback, I think this, this team could definitely give um, um, the Razorbacks a little bit of a scare, but I'm going to stick with this SEC team at home, hosting a home game. This should be a victory for the Razorbacks over the Rockets. Next up, a good um, nominee for the game of the week. Tennessee, number 23 ranked team in the country, actually went up a couple of slots um, from 25 to 23, hosting number 19 OU Oklahoma. Now, this is going to be an interesting matchup between two good quarterbacks and Baker Mayfield from Oklahoma, as well as... um. Tennessee's Josh Dobbs. This is going to be a, a tough. A, this is probably going to define Tennessee's season. If they come off with the victory in this one, this team can definitely put, prove my prediction wrong and get at least possibly nine wins this season. It depends on on Joshua Job, but I'm looking more on their ground attack with Jalen Hurd leading the way at, in the running back core. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Now for OU, I think they have a little bit better defense and they do have a good pass rusher in Eric Stryker. And I mentioned um, from Baker Mayfield. Field, their quarterback, but they have a tough running back and Samaj Pierman, uh, uh, Pierman Perrine. 
Last season, their freshman entering his sophomore season, he had a sensational freshman season, and he's looking to duplicate what he did last season. This is going to be a tough one for me, but I'm going to have to go with Oklahoma in this one, only because I think their defense is a tad bit better than Tennessee. That's just my personal opinion, but Tennessee can definitely prove me wrong. They did have some strong defensive plays last week against a good offense from Bowling Green, but I think that OU is a little bit better offense and more experience on both sides of the field than um, um, and, and better play experience experienced players than Bowling Green. I think that OU is going to have a close victory in this matchup, even though the game is at Tennessee. Next up, this is a um, a different, a pretty um, interesting non-conference matchup between Southern um, um, Georgia Southern hosting Western Michigan. Now, I had high hopes for Georgia Southern this this season. I think that I actually predict them having only one loss this year, going 11 and one. But they got demolished by West Virginia last week, which was a huge shocker for me. 44 to zip, a big goose egg. And they're going to be playing against a tough Western Michigan team who definitely showed up some good plays last week against Michigan State at home. For this matchup, I'm going to have to go with Western Michigan in this one because their defense is a little bit... Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit shaky, but their offense still has some good, strong players. With Davis at wide receiver, I mentioned Javari on, on Franklin last season's offensive player of the year um, um, at running back for a um, Mac conference, and they do have some good players offensively. And I think their defense is just going to have to step it up in this matchup. But I think because of the ground attack for Georgia Southern and how they were just pretty much exposed and shut down by uh, um, um, West Virginia, I think that the Hill, I think that the Broncos are going to look forward to doing the same thing and stopping that rushing attack for Georgia Southern. I have to go with Western Michigan over Georgia Southern in that matchup. Next up, this is a rematch of the Birmingham Bowl last season between East Carolina at Florida. Now, Florida definitely has shown a great offensive display last week against New Mexico State with a 61-13 victory with Will Greer as well as Treon Harris switching on, on series at quarterback with two touchdowns passing a piece and they do have a good running back in Kelvin Taylor. I'm going to have to go with the Gators in this one even though they had a 28-20 um, close victory last um, um, season against East Carolina. East Carolina no longer has Shane Carden, their star quarterback. He is now in the National Football League and I think that um, Florida is going to come off with a victory. Next up a good um, American Conference showdown between Cincinnati and Temple. Now last season the Bearcats just barely beat um, the Owls last season 14 to 6 and I think this is going to be an interesting matchup because last week against Penn State Temple had posted 10 sacks against the Nittany Lions and they had a good rushing attack and a good t job of just just pretty much just beating out the offensive line of the Nittany Lions and they're looking to do the same against the Bearcats but I think that Gunner Kill and company is going to give them a rude awakening in this matchup. I think this is going to be a close one between a good offense from Cincinnati versus a great defense of, of Temple but I will go with Cincinnati in this one because they are hosting in this game. Next up, um, number 25, Mississippi State is going to hopefully try to repeat what they did last season against LSU, the number 14 ranked team in the country. Now, LSU lost last season to the Bulldogs in that in that matchup at um, Baton Rouge, and they're looking to eventually this last season's loss hosts and, and when they go on the road against Mississippi State. For this game, even though Brandon Harris had an erratic freshman season, I think he's going to do better this year, even though we haven't seen him play. This is the first game for Les Miles and LSU, but I think that LSU will cut start off with the season off with a victory in events last season's loss uh, to the Bulldogs. Next up, in my upset game of the week as BYU hosts number 20, Boise State. Now, BYU showed a lot of heart in that matchup last week at Lincoln, Nebraska, and this week they're playing against um, um, B a, a good um, Boise State team who struggled last season against Washington. And I think that with Taysom Hill staying healthy and staying smart, I think this could be a dangerous independent team in college football. I'm going to have to go with the Cougars over the Broncos in a good showdown. Um, lastly, and not least, my game of the week as number seven Oregon State travelers to land to East Lansing to face the Michigan State Spartans, who's ranked fifth in the country. Now, last season, the Spartans got spanked at Eugene, and they're looking to avenge that loss. And this is going to be a good matchup. Now, last week for the Spartans, quarterback Connor Cook struggled a lot with his passes against the Broncos, and they're playing against a higher um, a ranked team overall in Oregon. And I, this is going to be a scare for me. I think that Oregon's going to pull off another up. 
upset over um um Mississippi um, um Michigan State. Not uh, last season wasn't really an upset, but I'm talking about another upset this week. A short upset. I had to go with the Oregon Ducks over the Spartans in this game because their offense is just too explosive, and they do re really great earlier in the season. They kind of struggled as the season progressed, but they do show up early in the first half of the season. I have to go with the Ducks over the Spartans in this week's game of the week. Now, the next time I catch you guys will be on Tuesday morning, where I will give you a recap of this weekend's games. Thank you for watching today's blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.